For the replacement of a crimper or anvil, we must remove the ram from the applicator by gently pushing the fifth finger facing forward and pulling up the ram. For the replacement of one or both crimpers, we must remove the screw that holds them by using the 5mm Allen wrench key. Remove the damaged crimper and replace it using the applicator's blueprint as reference to ensure that the crimper being replaced is the correct part number. Reinstall the new part following the assembling sequence of a crimper and spacer as is shown in the applicator's blueprint. Retighten the 5mm screw with the socket head. Check that the crimpers move freely up and down. If they do not move freely, it is necessary to repeat the assembly and sequence. For the replacement of one or both anvils, we must remove two screws located in the back of the die block using a 4mm Allen wrench key. Remove the shutter blade and the anvils. Replace the damaged anvil and replace it using the applicator's blueprint to ensure that anvil being replaced is the correct part number. Reinstall the following the assembling sequence of the anvils and spacers as shown in the applicator's blueprint. Retighten the two 4mm screw with socket head. Check manually that the shear blades goes up and down freely. If the shear blade doesn't move up and down freely, it is necessary to repeat the assembly sequence. The assembly sequence must be from least to greatest considering the first two number of the part number of the part. Also, the part number must be installed all the time with the part number face to you. This will ensure the correct operation. For more information, contact JST at www.jst.com.